So let's deal with adding transitions to our backgrounds. Um, I made a new Renpy project that I'm just going to show you what I mean by transitions. If we hit start, we have a background. And if we go to the next one, this is the fade transition. We're not actually going to do this because we have to... Well, we have to fade to black, and then we have to fade from black to our new image, which is... I mean, it's pretty simple to do, but it would require to add us to add a new image, which I don't feel like doing, so... It's... yeah. You should be able to do it yourself, though, if you really want to do this. This is the dissolve. It's sort of um, one background sort of phase on top of another. This is the wipe right, which is uh, used in Doki Doki Literature Club. I know that for sure. And then the push right, which I don't really see used often. Uh, the only times I really see this happen is, well, when they really want to make it obvious that we're transitioning from one scene to another, sort of like if we're like running from one place to another or something like that, but we're not going to do... well, we might, it's it's simple to do. And then the slide right, which is one of the simpler ones, but um, we're going to be doing this one first, actually. So, if we want to add transitions to our game, we could just add another image, uh, here we go, image, on top of our background image, make the stretch across the entire scene, and use say, Modern Dorm Room 2, these are 0 and 0, and then for the uh, swipe, or was it swipe? It was slide right. For the slide right, for example, we could just sort of animate it going from here to here, like that, but the problem with using an image is that we can't do the wipe right. Let me show you that again. Um, Launch project, start, fade, dissolve, and then this is the wipe right, where it sort of goes from right to left, uh, showing a new image over the past one. If we try doing this with the normal just image, you'll see that's what happens. It sort of just shrinks instead of actually doing what we want. So let's get rid of this image. And instead what we're going to do is use a uh, progress bar which seems kind of a strange choice, but I mean it's just a it's just one image filling up another image based on a percentage, so that, that's exactly what we want. Um, I'm also going to rename this to animations uh, progress bar. And for the background image, let's just use our old uh, dorm room one. And for the fill image, let's use the modern dorm room two. And if we play around with this percentage, you'll see that's exactly what happened. Um, the effect that we get is exactly what we wanted from the slide. Wipe right, that's what it was called. Uh, there is a problem though, you'll notice that it sort of stretched out in weird places. That's because right now it's drawing the image as a box instead of as a image. So we can fix that by changing this to image. A box image, by the way, is what you would use for, say, the border for our text. Um, uh, it's where you would use a 9 square if you know what those are. Um, but we're not doing that, so we don't have to worry about it. Uh, the You can also change the direction of our percentage. We can also go from right to left or top to bottom. And we can also fill from center, which is something I've never actually seen done in a visual novel, but I mean, it, you can do it if you want. Uh, also, we want to make sure that our fill color and opacity, make sure this is white, because right now we're getting this really hard blue tint over it, so... White, like that. And now we're back to what our image should look like. Left to right, there we go. Alright. So, when we're doing our scene transitions, what we're actually going to do is set our uh, animation progress bar image first to be equal to our old background image. And then we're going to set our background image to be what our new image is going to be, because if we need to stop our animation to start a new animation or something like that, um, well, we're going to have to set our background's image to be the new image right away and do stuff with that. But the problem with doing that is that if we stop in the middle, it's going to be kind of awkward to do. <clears throat> And we would have to sort of program around it, stopping in the middle and stopping naturally. It, it would be just kind of a pain. So instead, we're going to do what I said earlier, and the background image is 
going to be set automatically to our new image. And our progress bar image is going to be set to our old image. So for the uh, push right and the slide right, we're actually going to be animating the background image instead of our animation progress bar. So let's take care of that. Um, I'm going to do the slide right first because it's the easiest. I'm just going to take my background image. I'm going to keyframe our translation. Oh, uh, we should add a new animation. We'll call this... I cannot remember what it's called for some reason. Push slide right. And obviously you could do the same thing for your other directions, but I'm only going to do the right direction in this video because it would just be the same thing over and over, but with different directions. Is this slide right? I Start. Dissolve. Wipe. Okay, so this is push and that's slide. Alright, yeah, so we're doing slide right right now. So we've key. Oh wait, we've added a new animation, and let's go to our, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.5 seconds, and we'll keyframe our translation for our uh, background image because this is exactly where we want it to be right now. Okay, good. And then for the very beginning, we want it to be at the left. So let's move our. Sorry, that's our animation bar. Uh, get our background image. I move it from the X over this way. I believe the number is negative 1920. That should give us the, um, uh, make it perfectly to the side of it. And so over at zero, we're going to keyframe our X. And right now, if we play, You'll notice that we can't actually see our background. That's because our animation progress bar is on top of it. So to fix this, I'm um, instead of dragging our animation progress bar behind our background image, um, we actually want this on top for like every animation except for these two. So instead of dragging this behind it, I'm instead going to keyframe its uh, Z order. So right now it's at zero. We want it to be at negative one. That way it appears behind everything else. So we keyframe it here. And then at the very end. Actually, we wanted to keep we want to we it doesn't matter if it stays at negative one, so we're just gonna keep it at negative one for the um Z order uh when we do our translation for our slide right. So if we play this, we'll see it sliding right. Problem with that is that it's sort of easing in, in and out of it. So let's go to our curve editor and right click the first one and choose linear. There we go. And now it's going linear. Great. Let's do the other animation. The, uh, which one was it? Fade, dissolve, not wipe. This is push right. All right. Push right. So for the push right, once again, we want our um, animation progress bar Z order to be at negative one. So keyframe that. And then our background image will once again end up at zero for our X. Keyframe that. And then at the beginning, we want it to be once again negative 1920. Actually, we don't really need the Z order for our uh, progress bar here, do we? No, we can just delete that keyframe. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So right now it's gonna do our background image as normal, but we also want the animation progress bar to uh, animate as well. So at the beginning, we want it to be where it is right now. Uh, so keyframe our translation right here. And then at the end, we want it to be at positive. Uh, 1920, like so, and keyframe that. Go to our animation progress bar, translation curves for our X, and make sure these are linear. Same for our background image, make this linear, and hit play to show that animation happening. Great, alright. <clears throat> now for the 
Uh, let's go. We're not doing dissolve. I mean, we're not doing fade. Instead, let's do dissolve. So dissolve right there. And for the dissolve, we want these both to be at uh, zero on the x. So zero keyframe. Oh, sorry, I meant to do this keyframe over here. Let's delete these keyframes. Uh, delete. All right. So dissolve. Um, once again, we want these to be at the zero mark and keyframe this. At the point five, we'll go. Sorry, at uh, zero for our animation progress bar as well. We want this to be zero. Keyframe this. And. Um, because our background image is going to be, our old background image is going to be what our animation progress bar is showing. What we want is to go f our alpha on this to be to go from uh, one to zero. Or we could have our alternatively we could have our z order stay at negative one and go and animate our background image instead. So I'm going to do it that way. So for our progress bar, we want our Z order to be negative one again at zero. And our background image, we're gonna animate the render opacity. So change this from to zero at uh, zero. Key from this, and at 0.5, it's gonna be one. Key from that. Once again, go into our curve editor because I want these to be Linear. If we hit this um, zoom to fit vertical, sorry. Huh. All right. So that's not happening. But whatever. If we look at that, we can see it is in fact a one right there. So if we hit play, we can see that animation happening. Okay. <clears throat> we have slide right, push right, dissolve. Now we need the wipe right. So for the wipe right, uh, let's do a new animation, wipe right. For the wipe right, wipe right, we actually want our progress, our animation progress bar to be on top of our background image. So let's make this one, or sorry, not one, zero. And keyframes this. And then we want our, uh, well, we also want our positions to be at zero for both of these, uh, zero, zero, and our render opacity for our background image has to be one, and then on the animation progress bar, all we're going to do is set the uh, percentage. So uh, at the start, it's going to be zero, and then at point five, it's going to be one. Like so. And actually, we don't need to specifically call this wipe right. We could just call this wipe. Because um, it doesn't matter which direction you're going, you can go from right to left or top to bottom. Either way, the same keyframes are going to be the same. It's going to be the same keyframes uh, for our percentage. And our we can't actually animate our bill for our type. Fill, bill, bar, fill, type. Okay, that was much harder for me to say for some reason than it should have been. Um, yeah, so let's take care of actually making these animations happen. If we go to our graph, when we say switch on name and the change background, actually let's rename this to uh, show background. I'm going to do the same thing in our dialog. Where do we show our backgrounds? I have no idea. Where do you, okay? So I did it over here in the uh, where do you want to go? This is show. Show and show. 
So right now we don't have any animations going and we don't have a menu either because I forgot to create the widget, my bad. Widget for the menu and add this to viewport. So right now we can just, um, these are not showing. Why is that not showing? Dialog widget show background. Very strange. Hold on, give me a second. If we start, choose our dialog. This is oh, because I never connected the show background. That's my fault. That's my fault. All right. And it's still not showing. Why are you doing this to me? This is being run. Did our backgrounds get reset? Bedroom, school, street. This is calling show background street. School, bedroom one. Oh, I know why. It's because um, our I'm an idiot. Alright, so our pro animation progress bar is on top of our background image now, so we can't actually see the background image changing. So, um, let us set the animation progress bar. We're going to set the Z order to negative 1 by default. And when we do the. Sh oh, where is it? Does it graph? When we do our, um, do our simple show background, we're going to get our animation progress bar. And we're gonna make sure to say set Z order as canvas. Get our slot as canvas and set Z order to negative one. Play, start, and now we can. Well, we hopefully should be able to see the transitions. All right. So no transitions are happening right now because we need to actually tell it to do transitions. Uh, so let's do that. We'll add a new pin for um, dissolve. And when we do the dissolve, we're going to set our background image. We're going to do the same thing with our uh, background image. So copy and paste this. We're going to make sure that our Z order is set to zero. Uh, I believe we actually keyframed that. So we don't actually need to make sure of it, I think. Dissolve. Z order is set to negative one over here. Where is this? All right, the, um, this actually should be negative one, so never mind. So make sure this is set, uh, it's keyframe, so we don't need to make sure it's set to negative one. And we're gonna find the name value over here. And we're gonna play the animations uh, dissolve and play animation compile save and in my test dialog when I go to some random wait which do we start at we start at school okay so when we go to some random street we're instead going to say dissolve Play, start, and some random street, and you see the dissolve happening, except some random street. Um, okay, you see some weird stuff happening right there because our we never set our um, animation progress bar images. So let's do that, get animation progress bar, and set image, set brush uh, back. Okay, what was it? Animation progress bar, style, background image. So, style, set style. Uh, we can split this fill image, background image, and uh, uh, marquee image, which we're not going to set. We want to set these before we set our background image. Because if we set our background image first, then we don't know what our old background image was. So, we're going to get our background image first. Background image. Brush. 
split this and get our brush um, image right there. And this is not compatible with slate brush structure. So let's split these. Okay, so that's a lot. Um, and we split the other one. And drag our brush image into the background images right there. We might as well set both of them. Uh, and in this, our dissolve is going to connect to this first, and then it's going to connect to our set brush from texture. Compile, save, and play. Start. And go to some random street, and you see it dissolving. Yay! Alright. And obviously it's not going to dissolve when we're already in our random street, but uh... So that works. Now let's do the uh, wipe. Switch our name, add a new pin, and I'm gonna make a new wipe. I'm gonna make a wipe for every instance, so wipe right, for example. I'm gonna do the off screen, but uh, we're gonna have one wipe for every example. And we're actually gonna do the same thing as our... We're gonna see the same thing as this, basically. Copy and paste, but instead of playing dissolve, we're going to play wipe. And we're also going, well, make sure this is connected to our name value. And instead of setting our, um, oh, what is it? This is our background image, this is our fill image. Okay, so instead of setting our background image based off the old background image, we're going to set it based off what we're finding. No, 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 wait, the other way around. The fill image is what we're finding, and the background image is based off the uh, old Im old background, like that. It's going to go in our wipe right. And uh, based on whatever direction we set right here, in the uh, whatever wipe direction we're doing, we also have to set the animation progress bar as wipe uh, direction. So get wipe, and then set uh, what is it called? Bar fill type. Bar. F okay, what is it under? Progress. Oh, that's because I'm modifying my wipe. Uh, this is my wipe animation. Where is my animation progress bar? There it is. And bar fill type, we can't set it. Progress. Huh. I could have sworn we were able to set the bar fill type. That fill fill color and opacity. That's very strange. Um, okay. So since we can't keyframe our bar fill type, I guess you would actually have to have a, another animation progress bar for every single direction if you wanted to do this. But I'm just gonna have the one. So never mind about this. And this is gonna be wipe right. Is still gonna be that. Um, let's make sure this works. Test dialog in the bedroom. Change this to wipe right. Save. Maybe they'll change that later. Hopefully they do, because that's a strange thing to not be able to set. Let's play, start, and go to the bedroom. And it does the wipe animation. Random street, bedroom. I only have one more thing though, so uh, it's pretty obvious what the rest of the stuff is going to be so if you were to do the other animations. So let's do the uh, I don't know. Slide? Right. Slide right. And let's set our image based off um, this stuff. Copy, paste, slide right. And make sure this is connected to our 
name value and then play the slide right animation get slide right and play animation compile save play oh sorry I need to actually tell it to do slide right over here slide right And we're at the street right now, so we can't do it there, but uh, school, and it does the slide. Um, maybe we should check to make sure that we're not already at school to before we check our animations. So in our dialog, I mean, you could have it do it either way, but I'd rather not. Uh, so we're going to check to see if this brush image is equal to our the image we found. So equal, or sorry, not equal. If it's not equal to our old brush image, then we will do this. And you know, obviously you would clean it up uh, instead of keeping it messy like this, but you know, it's whatever. Now, if we were to click really fast, right, or if we're in skip mode or something like that, and we wanted to have our tr scenes transition uh, in between them, let's say, actually in our dialog right here, right here I'm going to add a event, this is going to be, widget is going to tell our modified name, it's going to be, I don't know, dissolve to Street. If this were to happen like really fast, you wouldn't want these animations um, keep, to keep playing through because it would be. You notice that it's sort of awkward. I'm not sure how else to explain it. So when we go to our next scene in our event graph, uh, when we click to continue over here before we tell our uh, widgets to finish animating was there one more place where it did this? yeah over here in the choose option as well um, what we're gonna do is get our animations and tell them to stop animation we're gonna do it for all of our animations or all of our transitions Okay, apparently you can't connect most multiple to one, so stop animation. Stop animation. Don't do it for the notify. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four. Stop animation. And I'm just going to make it its own function because I don't want to have to do uh, copy and paste this over there. And then we're going to make sure that our background image is at the right place in case it stopped animating where it's not supposed to be. So get our, so for example, if we were doing our push right and it stopped animating like right here, we wouldn't want our background image to stop animating right there. So let's get our graph and tell our background image set a translation, render translation to be 0, 0. And we're also going to tell our um, animation progress bar to get as, or sorry, as canvas and set the Z order to be negative 1. So it's behind the background image. custom event, we'll just call this stop translations background translations like so and over here after we uh, tell our stuff to stop editing, we'll stop background translations 
and over here as well. Compile, save, and play. And that happens. All right. Yeah, I think that'd do it for setting up our scene transitions. Um, this was kind of a messy video, especially since you can't set the bar fill type for some reason, but uh, hopefully it all made sense and you're able to figure out how to do the animations for your other transitions if you want to. Um, yeah, and that's that'll do it for this video. I think if we hit play and start. Alright, yeah, so that's still fine.